All right, today we're gonna talk about broken teeth. You see this little chip on this tooth? We're gonna, we're gonna show you how to repair this. Not often, but on occasion, they buy a ring and pinion from us. They're all excited, they wait two, three days. They get their package, it looks like the FedEx guy is a soccer fan and he tried to kick it to the door or whatever, who knows. Pa package is damaged, they open the box and oh my God, there's a chip on the tooth and it's, it's, it's damaged, we need to send it back. Customer's upset because they just waited three days. They're upset now because it's gonna take another six days to get another gear back. Nobody's happy, everybody's upset, time and money's wasted on both ends. So, since this is a used gear, uh, it's a prime example of why this is no big deal. If you look at this line right here, that is where the pinion tooth and the ring gear teeth make contact. Anything above this line doesn't touch anything. You could actually have a pretty good sized chunk taken out of your pinion and it's not gonna affect the performance one bit. It's not gonna you know, cause any problems down the road. It's, it's a perfectly good, long lasting, dependable gear even though you have a corner of your tooth taken off. However, one thing you do want to do, and what we're going to show you how to do today, is you're going to do. You are going to want to clean this up a bit. Make sure there's no, you know, jagged edges, broken bits, anything that could flake off later, potentially. And we're going to show you how to do that right here. This is what you want to use, or something equivalent, just a just a sanding disc on an angle grinder. And this is all we're going to do. That's all you need to do to fix that. And as you can see, you can barely even see where it broke off. Everything's nice and smooth. You can tell that there's no more cracks. There's nothing major going on there. And it looks a little better than it did before. So as long as it's not in on the driving surface, and even on the driving surface, you know, if there's, say like there's a little bit of a chip over here, if you soften that edge, that's not gonna affect the performance one bit either. Um, what you're looking for is major damage or you can see a crack or anything like that, that's when it's time to send it back. You know, see, see what you can do about, about you know, getting a new one. But any cosmetic, any, any little nicks and, and chips on a corner, corner busted off, it's not an issue. Um, if you can, as you can tell on this one, it looks like it made contact with the cross pin. It looks like the cross pin broke and it rolled around on it. These are all ugly. However, you can do the exact same to these. Just, just clean them up, sand them down. You notice they are a little bit just on the corner there of the pattern. Just make sure there's no no rough edges, no, you know, nothing nothing interfering getting in the way. You know, just a little something like that and that's still a perfectly good gear.